Hi guys, what's up? Happy Monday. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. For today's video, I have the most exciting video ever, ever. Scratch anything I ever said in the past, exciting videos, no. This is really where it's at. Honestly, TJ Maxx has been kind of like shitty lately and a little bit sad to even go to. Um, so I recently went to Nordstrom Rack. I already went, this is just an intro that I'm filming. And to my surprise, I found so much goodies. If you guys love getting a good deal on makeup, Nordstrom Rack is where it's at. It's a little bit pricier than TJ Maxx, I will say, but I feel like they have, I don't know, lately, like just better things, you know? Um, so I did go ahead and purchase a ton of stuff. I haven't purchased things from TJ Maxx and Marshalls and or T um, Nordstrom Rack in, oh, in a really, really long time. So I spent like a hundred bucks here because a girl could not hold herself, okay? It was just amazing deals, and I knew I would have anxiety if I wouldn't have purchased anything. So definitely stay tuned um, for the end of the video so you guys can see what I picked up. But let's go ahead and get started with like the vlog part of the video. I'm looking forward to reading your comments down below. It's so much fun. I'm telling you guys, it's the best video ever. Bye. Yeah, I don't think not at all. I am so freaking beyond excited to show these to you guys. You have absolutely no idea. So firstly, I see the Too Faced Life's a Festival palette. We've seen this at TJ Maxx multiple amounts of times, but I see that they're bringing it in to Nordstrom Rack at the current moment. We have a ton of pieces here. I think that they just stocked up. This is retailing for $19.97. Hopefully you guys can see it's kind of like cut off there. I think at TJ Maxx it was $19.99, so pretty much the same price. I actually ended up purchasing this for the full price tag when it came out like initially and I love it. I re would recommend it a hundred percent. It's really really fun to play around with. I see that they have a nice amount of these Too Faced white peach palettes which we've seen at TJ Maxx. I'm not gonna go too in depth with them but this is 1997 here. We also recently found this at TJ Maxx. This is the Glow Job. So freaking cool. I'm so happy. <laughs> $14.97. I've never tried these like literally glittery masks from Too Faced. Let me know what you guys think about this. I'm just like on a high right now. I'm so excited. Okay, then I see a nice amount of these peach frost um highlighters from Too Faced as well. We've seen this at um TJ Maxx a few months ago. It's in the shade Happy Face. I already purchased this, but then also back here. I see that we have the cream bronzer in the shade Toasted Peach, also really beautiful on the skin. We've seen this at um, TJ Maxx a few months back. And these are retailing for $12.97 each. Okay, this is something that is super beyond exciting. This is the Primed and Poreless Skin Smoothing Face Primer. <sighs> I'm so happy. I'm just so, you know, this is just what makes me happy, okay? Right here, jewelry, no. Um, Fancy handbags? No, these things. Great deals on makeup products. Initially it was 30 and now it's 12 and 97. So there aren't a ton of pieces here, but here's what the packaging looks like. Really beautiful. There is one fluid ounce of product in here. The next few products I see here are from Too Faced as well. These are their Born This Way concealers. How fun. Let's just take a moment and breathe because these like literally recently came out, I feel like. So we mainly have the shades Warm Medium and Light Medium. Not sure if I'll find my shade here, but I'm still like just on a high that I found these in general. So freaking cool. I've never tried this in my life. Retailing for $9.97. Oh yeah, now I remember. This released um, when Shape Tape released and I feel like Everyone just kind of gave love to the Shape Tape Concealer and no one really gave a shit about this. So I feel like it just didn't do well. They just released it at a time that just wasn't convenient, I guess. Um, so yeah, now they're at Nordstrom Rack. So cool. We have some of these Too Faced Mermaid Tears glosses, which we've seen at TJ Maxx. So it's exciting, but not as exciting, I guess I should say. And then we have Angel Tears right over here. These are retailing for $9.97. So freaking happy. You don't even know. You don't even know. People think I'm crazy here. I need to calm down, but I'm just really happy right now. So these are the Too Faced Tutti Fruity Frosted Fruits Highlighting Sticks. We have them in two different shades here, retailing for $12.97 each. How adorable is the packaging? Like, the box is even so cute. I, I can't even throw that out. How cutesy. So this one right here has a nice amount of lemons on it, and it's called Pink Lemonade. It is a retractable stick highlighter. And this one right here has strawberries all over it, and it's in the shade Strawberry Sparkle. Okay, then I only found two of these, which is crazy, but these are the Tutti Fruity Comfort Lip Glosses. I've been dying to find the glosses, so I'm very, very happy to see these here. Two pieces, you know, just waiting for Leora to come and pick up. <laughs> These are retailing for $9.97 each. Amazing deal. So this one right here is in the shade Takes Two to Mango. It's a beautiful, pretty vibrant orange color with a nice amount of gold glitter in there. The packaging is on another level of levels. And this one is in the shade Blue You Away. I love the name. So cute. It's a gorgeous, pretty vibrant blue as well. I'm curious to know if it'll be like this pigmented on the lips. I don't think so, but 
You never know, I guess. Okay, and then moving down to this section right over here, I see that we have these Too Faced Sketch Marker Liquid Art Eyeliners. So we have a blue one and a green one, and a brown one chilling back there. It's so crazy. I remember when the campaign came out for these. How insane. And these are retailing for $97 each. Um, they used to be $20 though. Too Faced definitely knows how to do with their packaging. So this one right here is in Smoky Emerald. It looks like a gorgeous green. I love the lid. I love that it has a heart on it. This one right here is in Deep Espresso. And I love how each one actually has a different saying on it. So this one says Choco Chip Honey Dip. This one right here is in Deep Navy Blue. And this one says Too Glam to Give a Damn. I also see that we have a nice amount of these Mascara Melt Off Cleansing Oils from Too Faced. I wasn't the biggest fan of these. I don't know why, but these are the full sizes. Um, retailing for $9.97. Hopefully you guys can see down there. I also see that they have a nice amount of these Too Faced melted liquefied longwear lipsticks. So we've seen this many times at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So we have the shade Nude. This one right here is in Fig. How much are these? These are retailing for $9.97 each. We have the shade Chihuahua which is like a pink. And then Melted Ruby which is a beautiful red. I also see that they have a nice amount of these Too Faced Metallic Sparkle lipsticks. So these came out literally about last year at this time, which is again crazy to see here in Nordstrom Rack um, in honor of their 20th anniversary. We've seen a few of these at TJ Maxx, but not a ton of shades. We have a lot of shades to choose from here, so let me show you guys. The first shade that we have up is in Bionic. It looks like a silvery blue. This one I don't recall ever seeing at TJ Maxx or Marshall, so it's new to Nordstrom Rack. The next shade we have up is That Girl, which is one that I don't recall ever seeing at um, TJ Maxx or Marshalls either. It's a beautiful brown. The next shade is TF20, which is a super, super beyond hot, hot pink. This one right here is in Too Too Hot, which is actually one I think I did purchase from TJ Maxx. It's a beautiful ruby red. The next one we have up is called Miss Thing, and this is a beautiful champagne color. This one right here is in Marcia, 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 which is like a... Um, mid-tone pink and then this one right here is in trampula which is one that i do own i purchased from dj maxx i love it it's a really cool like bright blue so i see that they still have a nice amount of these lime crime products we saw a few weeks back we saw this here last week we still have a nice amount of pieces and then we also have this lime crime highlight palette which we saw a few weeks back so I'm at the Urban Decay section right over here. We've seen most of these products already at TJ Maxx and Nordstrom Rack a weeks ago. But we've never seen this little baby. It's the Urban Decay Velvetizer Translucent Mix-In Medium. Pretty cool. Not really sure what the hell this is, but it looks cool. Retailing for $11.97. It is kind of a baby size. So here's what it looks like. It says to mix in a dime size of this into your foundation so you'll get even more of a velvety finish on the face, face <laughs> which I think is pretty cool, I guess. Let me know if you guys try this. I haven't really heard much about it. I moved over to the other side where we have a nice amount of MAC products. I'm gonna go through them in a second. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, so firstly, I see that they have a nice amount of these basic B uh, palettes here. I don't know if I should say that word on YouTube. I don't know. <laughs> on Instagram, fine, but not here. Anyway, this is $22.97. I love these palettes from MAC to the most part. They're really nice quality. So here's what this palette looks like. It's definitely more of a Chlorotone palette. I really like it. I think it's kind of pretty. Um, I feel like I'm, co I'm a collector with these palettes. And the original value is $41. Here it's $22.97, so I might... Uh, you know what I'm saying? I might, I might need to have it in my life. And then I see that they also have a nice amount of these Smarty Pants palettes here from MAC as well, which we saw a few weeks back at um, TJ Maxx. Also retailing for $22.97. You guys can see down there. Ah! And I already purchased this. I love it. I spoke about it in my favorite TJ Maxx makeup finds video. Here's a quick overview. If you guys are not sure how it looks, love it. How cool is it to find this Mac and Patrick Star set here? I'm just blown away, seriously. So firstly, this is retailing for $26.97. Here are the two products that are included in the kit. We get a Mac X Patrick Star liquid lipstick in Pouty Pout, which is a true red from what it seems like. And then this beautiful quad. Really beautiful. We get one glittery type of shade and then three mattes. I do like the color story. It's very pretty. I feel like the lighting is not doing it justice, but in person it looks pretty good. Honestly, how amazingly cool is it to find MAC X Selena brushes? I'm, again, just blown away. It doesn't make any Wait, sense to me. Oh, oh you're recording. <laughs> yeah, you could have, you could have. I'm not gonna take it. It's fine. Um, there are smaller brushes. I missed out on this collection, but um, it's really cool to see here. I'm not sure I'm gonna pick them up, but again, amazing to see here at Nordstrom Rack. I don't know what I'm saying now, because I'm like, I'm embarrassed. Anyway, $22.97 each. Here. 
The next MAC product I see here is an extra dimension blush. Really cool to see these products here. I keep saying that, but it just really is. I'm just blown away. Uh, I keep saying that too. $12.97, and this is in the shade Telling Glow. We have a nice amount of MAC lashes here, which I've never tried in my entire life. I don't even know what the quality is like. It looks okay though. And these lashes are $7.97 each. We have this like sponge here from MAC as well. I don't know, never tried anything like this. Either from MAC, um, $6.97, kind of up there. Because I know it probably costs them like 42 cents to make, but just because it's the name MAC, it's $6.97, you know what I'm saying? I also see that they have a nice amount of these iridescent powders, these loose powders right here. It seems like it's like a highlighter, it looks pretty. It's in the shade Golden Bronze, all of them are in the same shade. I also see that they have a huge selection of these MAC and Patrick Star highlighters in the shade Hot and Heavy. We saw this um, last week, uh, this past weekend at Marshalls. So at Marshalls, I remember it was um, $14.99, but here it's $19.97. Still up there, no? And just for reference, in case you guys missed out on that video, here's what the highlighter looks like. Definitely a bit more... I don't know, mid-tone slash deeper. You guys, how cool is this? This is part of the Smarty Pants line. You guys know I love school supplies and makeup in one. These are $7.97 each in the shade Adorable. Looks like a beautiful mid-tone nude. Oh my god, my bad. They're in the shade Audible, not Adorable but similar, I guess. I also see that they have three of these Oh Sweetie lip colors from MAC. I remember when these released on Ulta, I was like, yes, I need them, but never wanted to purchase them for the full price tag at $17.50, but here at Nordstrom Rack, they're $10.97. Isn't the packaging like adorable? I love it. This right here is in the shade Gumdrop. It's a beautiful like pinky reddish which with a ton of glitter. This is in the shade Key Lime Truffle, a true lime type of color. Curious to see what this would look like on the lips. This in red here is in Caramel Sugar. I love this bronzy color. I feel like I'd probably get the most use out of this one, you know? Because it's the most wearable. So nice. I see that we have two of these Plenty of Pow Plumping lipsticks from MAC, both in the same shade, retailing for $12.97. And then this one right here is in the shade So Swell, $2.10. Looks like a mauve-ish brown, pretty unique. And then I only found one of these lipsticks. I'm not even sure what collection it's from because they released so many collections. It's $8.97 and it's in the shade Both Cheeks. Here's what the shade looks like. It's a true pinky, pink, hot pink situation. And the bullet is like a silver color. I then see this Raver Girl Gloss. It looks like a beautiful purple, $7.97 and it's in the shade Deep Set. So cool, right? The packaging is unrealistically beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> that don't make any sense, but it's fine. This is so right up my alley from the Pretty Punk line. Packaging is so cute. And this is in God Save the Sheen. And this is also retailing for $7.97. And then I see they have a nice amount of these um, lipsticks. They're all in the same shade, $8.97 each. All in the shade Rave Chic. It's a pretty loud color, like an electric blue purple. I actually wanted to show you guys that they have some of these Kristen Leanne um, X Urban Decay Highlighter Palettes, retailing for $16.97 each. So we saw other products from this line last week, but we haven't seen this one yet. I actually recently decluttered mine, the one that I had, but I really did enjoy it. I just felt like I had way too many shades that looked similar. Um, however, with that being said, if you don't have a lot of these kind of shades, if you love smushy, gushy, delicious formulas, this is a great highlighter palette. Wasn't that beyond amazing? I know, like I, I blew my socks off my feet for myself, let me tell you. So yeah, my total was about 95-ish bucks, but I got uh, such amazing things. The first thing that I ended up picking up was the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Skin Smoothing Face Primer. This is one that I definitely wanted. A bunch of you guys actually sent me pictures of this. That you found it at TJ Maxx. I did not find it at TJ Maxx yet, but I did um, find it at Nordstrom Rack. I just felt like I needed this in my life because, you know, packaging Too Faced Poreless. Come on, that's just the definition of me. Yeah, it's basically like a typical basic kind of like silicone based primer has a similar feel to like the um pore filling primer by smashbox if you guys are familiar with that i feel like it's going to be nice the next thing that i ended up picking up was some Too faced as well this is the born this way naturally naturally radiant concealer i really like naturally radiant concealers to the most part i feel like it's really light under the eyes and i know that this doesn't necessarily give amazing coverage but i'm down for that like i don't mind um i like full coverage concealers at times but i also like these kind of concealers as well i picked up mine in the shade ferris this was the last one that they had in this shade um, and then the other lightest shade they had was light medium which was too dark for me so this might be a bit too light and then I was contemplating like hey do I need it do I not need it but then I'm like you need it just make this work <laughs> so I purchased this one it's probably going to be a bit too light for me so I'll have to use it on my fairest days you guys can see it's just it's pretty light or what I can do is mix this in with like a little bit of a deeper concealer which I'm pretty sure I have um, but I'm still really excited and I'm happy that I picked it up because I always wanted to test it out 
use it and love it but i never wanted to purchase it for the full price tag of 28 dollars kiss my ass so i purchased it for 9.97 okay yeah Okay, and then there were so many lip products to choose from, as you guys saw from the vlog. So I ended up just picking up these three lip products only, um, but I think it's more than enough. Of course, had to pick up this one in Audible. It's part of the Smarty Pants collection from MAC. Love it. You guys know I love school supplies and makeup. I felt like this shade was like perfect, you know? Like I would just be able to throw it on anytime. It smells really good. Yeah, it's pretty pigmented. I love these kind of shades. Maybe it's a, it's a, it might be it might be a little bit too deep for my liking, but I can totally share it out on the lips. The packaging got me 100%. I kind of feel like I have like a collection here because I already have the palette, I have the gloss, you know, like stationery and stuff. How you kind of need all the pieces. I'm happy I have that. The next one I picked up was from Mac as well. This is one of the Oh Sweetie glosses in sugar caramel and caramel sugar. I checked like three times before I held it up, and then I was like, I kept saying the wrong name. All right, um, this one right here definitely has more of like a frosty-ish frosty -ish finish. And I don't know, I think it's a gloss. I don't think it's like a liquid lipstick, but it, it is beautiful. I'm so down for that one. I definitely did want another one of these just because, you know, I wanted you know them to have each other like sisters. Like I like to have at least two of something, not one. Um, but the other shades didn't really appeal to me and I was thinking to myself that I'd prefer to get this one. So this is the Too Faced um, Tutti Fruity Gloss and the shade Takes Two to Mango. So cute. It's a beautiful orangey shade, very pigmented actually. I think you'll still be able to like, kind of like share that on the lips. I love the packaging. So happy about that one. Okay, then I ended up picking up two eyeshadow palettes. So firstly, I picked up the um, Urban Decay and Kristen Leanne palette. This is one that I saw last week at Nordstrom Rack and I didn't pick it up. I didn't pick up anything in that video. And a few of you guys were like, Leora, you need to go back and get this palette. And I'm like, really? And you're like, yeah, it's amazing. Like you use it every single day. It's a great transition palette. And I'm like, I hear you. Like it is really stunning. I just didn't know if I really needed it, but you guys confirmed that I did. So you see, I listen to you. I do. Um, so basically here's what the palette looks like. Beautiful. And then once you open it up, you get five different eyeshadows in here. So pretty neutrally kind of shades. Yeah, shades you could definitely throw in the crease for a day-to-day -day kind of look. There's a little brush in there as well. Wow, they are very, very soft, very creamy, very pigmented. These are with one swipe swatches each, and I'm very impressed. I love these kind of tones, these colors. And like I mentioned in my other video, the shade 1212 is a shade that I really gravitate towards a lot. I just love how I look with those kind of colors. And then, so I'm very happy about that one. Thanks, guys, so much. And then finally, the last product that I picked up was the Basic D palette by MAC. The main reason why I picked this up was because I do collect them, and so I needed to have this in my life. Um, I also like to be, I like, <laughs> I also like, I'm so like, I'm just excited, so I'm like, um, rolling over my words here. I also felt like this palette was really nice, unique, and different because it has more of a cooler toned vibe to it. And I don't know, I started kind of getting into it a little bit here and there. So I needed to have this in my life, of course. <laughs> okay, so I basically swatched a few shades here. This is the Urban Decay palette, so don't look at that. But then here are the remaining swatches. They are extremely soft, like they have a very like smooth feel to them. These are, were with two swipe swatches each. I feel like some were a bit stronger than others, but generally as a whole, they worked really well just from swatching. So I think that they'll perform really, really nicely on the eyes. Um, yeah, I don't know. I have really high hopes for this one. I, I think I'm gonna do a look with it ASAP or like wear it and let you guys know if it's good or not. But anyways, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really happy with the pieces I picked up. I kind of need to stay away from Nordstrom Rack because then I feel like I'm gonna be broke. But anyways, I mean, a girl's gotta live. <laughs> Definitely let me know if you guys uh, found anything exciting at your local Nordstrom Rack. And let me know if this video inspired you to go. And I'm looking forward to reading your comments down below. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Clean my hands.